Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with a new set uh, that I've just been having a look at. That is why some of the pieces are not where they should be. Uh, but anyway, it is the wonderful world of carousel store set slash venue. Um, and it's really beautiful. I mean, look at this venue. It is just really magical looking. But the first thing I thought of was how much fun it would be to kind of make it into like a dark and creepy circus. Uh, so if you put it in Midnight Hollow or if you put it uh, into Moonlit Falls, which is where it is actually now, I think you could do some really interesting things with that because clowns are creepy. Uh, but anyway, it comes with three premium content items, one being this gorgeous carousel. Uh, and we've been wanting a working carousel in The Sims for quite a while since Midnight Hollow had the kind of staged one. It looks like we have some new build um, stuff here. Let's see. Is that new or they've just colored it? Oh no, they've just colored it. Cool, cool bananas. But there is 29 items plus the three premium content items. The other premium content is we've got this fairy floss and popcorn machine here, which looks very tasty. It's making me a little bit hungry. And if we jump down a few levels, uh, we actually have here some arcadey games. It's like whacking games, which is one of my favorite games to use uh, when I have gone to arcadey places. But I'm about to tell you what I'm really, really excited about in this set. And it is from a building perspective or a decorating perspective more so. And that is these big top pieces. This is why I bought the set and I was very quick to buy it because I really want to use some of this draping uh, in builds I have. Um, as well as these ropes here, this is kind of like the same thing as when we got the chandelier chains in that mansion set. Uh, I, I'm thinking houseboat, I'm thinking ropes, I'm thinking the houseboat uh, build we're doing at the moment. And I don't know, I think they go hand in hand. So we will put those on the houseboat in some shape or form. I also love these big columns. Uh, they are columns and they can go up to three levels, which is pretty nice. Oh, doesn't this look amazing? Oh, I think it's just awesome. Now, is this a new half wall? I doubt it, but we'll just check. No, it's the same half wall. Um, but another thing is, if we go over here, this is kind of, this is my brain ticking right now. So we have these great uh, draped pieces that actually have some kind of stilts on either side. So it's not just a random hanging piece of fabric. And I'm thinking how nice would that be in, in interiors to kind of separate rooms instead of using walls. Uh, if we want to do like more, I don't know, like a Spanish inspired build or, or something like a, an apartment in Bridgeport where they've kind of just hung fabric over windows and stuff like that. So I've actually uh, changed the colors of the fabric to see how customizable it was. And uh, it's looking pretty good. We can do a lot with it. These kind of hanging over birds will be gorgeous too. And I'm also thinking the boat, oh, look at the little sand pits. That's adorable. That is really cute. Oh, gosh, I love the build that they've done with the water around here. And these columns, I mean, light posts, they're really gorgeous. If we got rid of the stripes on them uh, and you just made them like a marble or something like that, that would be really nice for like more of a Victorian feel. I might put that in my newest supernatural build, which I'm working on. These are really cute little decorative hedges. We've got some new paintings here, which I'm loving. And of course, this big fountain which, with this dude. Uh, he's having a great old time. Uh, he, he looks like a nice fellow, but yeah, that's what I'm excited for. I'm also thinking if we grab, not the tree, these columns, I'm thinking that if we got the lights from the Bohemian garden set, Bohemian, sorry, uh, and kind of draped those wall lights through them, that could actually look really nice as well. So I'm excited to start experimenting with this. So that is why I bought the set. Uh, I'm wanting all of this drapery and I like how they've crisscrossed them over here. So they've made sure it doesn't glitch out. So you kind of get that cross effect which is great. We've got some speakers here as well. Box of infinite fidelity. Mm, interesting. Uh, but yes, here is the set. It is available now. And uh, there's a few ideas of what I'm going to be doing with it. I love these too. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.